Oh, hey. Hello? Anybody in there in old internet world? Guess what we're doing today, friends of the internet? We are going to be installing our dino jet. And look who's here to help. Hey, Coke. Got Mr. Pal here. Hi, Peppy. <laughs> nice, Peppy. Yes. All right, so this thing's pretty self-explanatory. I kind of went through the instructions here. And basically, you just plug the thing in and kind of read. So um, this was flashed by Weller, which is why there's a they put a sticker on it to kind of seal it back up. Um, so they keep these in stock, and then they pull them out of the box and flash them. It comes with some little wipey doos and some Velcro if you want to mount the thing somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to mount it. So, all right, uh, we need to take off the hood here. So let's do that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Make sure you check out the video up above in the link if you want to learn how to put in your own little distribution panel. Or after this plug, it's white, and then it's got a black cover on it. So we'll peel off that, and I'm pretty sure that's where this thing is going to go. So why don't we get that plug? Quite a bit of cord here. Why don't you get a tape measure? Let's measure this, see how long it is. Maybe maybe six feet. All right, so 64 inches, that's a little over five feet. So that's pretty good. Um, if you look at this, it's got a little connector and then this is like a little the dust USB. cover for the USB, it keeps it clean in case you wanna keep this thing plugged into the port and then you route this to wherever you wanna put the actual device and then you could just leave it on to you know see gauges and stuff so uh, pretty hard to screw it up it can only go in one way it's keyed so click means it's good and we should have enough to you know what I there's really no reason to be in the cab for this I'll just have Liam turn the keys on and off but we're gonna hook this up and again, there's only one way to do this. You can see the little indentation there and then clippy guy here. Just line it up and push clips in place. And then you could leave this dangling if you're just gonna flash it now or I guess smash it in there, whatever you want. So, uh, okay, looks like it's already turning on, which I guess that port has power. So let's just see what happens so this is the first time i'm even doing it so why don't you get in the r max and i'll tell you when to turn it on it's connected so let's hit return and just see what it does all right nothing um turn it on pal don't start it just turn the key on once Okay, so the middle button here with this kind of rectangle thing brings us back to the main menu. So I already know that there's um, tunes and stuff on here. So we're gonna go to, I guess, flash tune and we'll hit this button. And we're greeted with a whole bunch of tunes here. You see that, pal? Mm -hmm. So pretty nice product, by the way. The display is pretty nice quality yes. you can read it from almost any angle it looks really good um so we got the um let's see the weather racing this is so this tune's pretty nice 87 to 89 octane then we got 91 to 93 this is with the uh that hunter works tip and then let's see here slip on exhaust stock exhaust um i think that's the stock ECU. All right. Well, we have the we have the the tip, so we're gonna do this one, I guess. Um, and then we do this. Not paired. Oh, okay. We guess we have to do the pair of this device to the. So yeah, we want to pair it. File cleanup delete. 
Um, not worried about that. Okay, so we're gonna let it do its thing, and we're gonna leave the key on the on position. We're not gonna mess with anything because you don't want to brick your ECU or anything like that. So we'll let it do what it needs to do. Okay, cycle, key cycle twice and wait 20 seconds in between. Uh, okay. All right, so key cycle twice and wait 10, 20 seconds. All right, so turn it off. Turn it on. And then we're going to turn it off again. Do another 20 count. Okay, we're back on. And now we are going to hit the continue button. Okay, I'm going to assume that it's done. Let's uh, start this thing up. That's pretty neat. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, that's really neat. I don't know, maybe I will mount this thing after I get it figured out. Well, so far, I like, you know, I like everything about it. Honestly, it's really easy to use, and um, I don't know how well you can hear me, so let me shut this piece off. Whew, getting hot in here, man. The old scary drum stove really uh, heats the place up. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up with this video. Uh, pretty happy with this tuner, very easy to use, and, um, I don't know, maybe I'll mount it somewhere in here. If I do, that might be a video for another day. I will put in the description what the Weller tune specifically does. Yeah, so that's going to do it for this one. Kind of a quicker little review video of the product, but I appreciate you guys hanging out. I want to thank all the new subscribers. I've been looking at my analytics, and I've noticed that... Um, a, a lot of people watch my videos are not subscribed and I would greatly appreciate it if you do subscribe and that way you'll you'll know when the new content comes out I'm trying to do I'll, I'll definitely be doing other RMAX stuff so I know I have some other vendors that have reached out and want me to look at some products and stuff so we'll see if that ever uh, comes to fruition or not but um, yeah so I want to thank all my subscribers and people that watch I really appreciate that have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Talk to you later.